you use that power bugle quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, I use this quite a bit, locating and challenging. And uh, why don't you demonstrate a, a howl with it? I noticed you use your call. You blow it upside down. Yeah. Where okay. a lot of I mean, even me, I'll blow it with you know turned up like. <coughs> now, if you got a coyote that answers you and he's barking back at you, you use a challenge bark. Yeah, I use a challenge bark. With Can you uh, try that? Yeah. I'll like that. Yeah. Just give them the short, hard burst coming right out of the lungs. Blow that hard. Uh-huh. Kind of a shrill. Yeah. Get, get it up there a little higher mm -hmm. than your, your regular howl. Sometimes with the power bugle, if they they won't answer, or if you know there's something out there and, and you're challenging them, and you can't get them to bark or to howl, or even sometimes after you've howled with the power bugle, you come back with the yoke buster call, and it and howl with it, and it just did enough of a different response that it just, I think they think that maybe there's two coyotes there or something, and they'll answer it, and it, but it howls pretty good. <coughs> That's that short, choppy challenge howl. Yeah. The power bugle, I think, is more of like a dominant male, deeper howl, when I think the, the yoke buster is a little bit higher, a little shriller, and uh, brings out a little bit more of a, of a response sometimes on other coyotes and uh -huh. other than the, the dominant male. So I think it works real good that way. <laughs>